Hey Jefferson, what is up? Let's learn how to scan in, shut up and eat your garbage, into Media Encoder from the cameras. And I've got camera number one. Camera number one has first hour and eighth hour on it. I want to show you how to tell the difference if you get that one camera between which hour is which hour. So let's give this a shot. First thing you want to do, double click on Finder. Go to Applications on this left hand bar. You are looking for Adobe Media Encoder CC 2019. If you've got it, double click. Then I'd like you to take the square icon for it, drag it to your desktop and let go. Go ahead and put it up in the top right because I'm not sure where else to put it. Because I know if I try to put it down here, for me it'll work, for you it might not. If you can drag it at the bottom and make it work, that is awesome. But I'll click the finder to close it, then I'll double click to open it. Let's see how long it takes this entire process. The time right now is 9.03. Here we go. Now, if it asks you, can you access something? Yeah, you want to click OK. I've got my camera connected. I'm going to open the side viewfinder. This time I have the Sony. So all I have to do is open the side, and it should pop up. I should see something over here. PM Home and Untitled. This is the name of the camera. This is the driver that's in the camera. So you should see both of these. Notice I've got the icons over here on the right as well. So that is super cool. How do I get the video? That's easy. Double click on Untitled. It wants to access the camera. Yep, that's great. That's where we want our stuff to come from. If you click OK, notice how A, B, C, H, D is up here. That's the video file format, right? So if I double click, everything pops up. You need to wait until all of these images become thumbnails. Since there aren't that many video files on the camera, it should be easy, but we'll still be waiting for a teeny bit. You can see them coming in as we go. So just hang tight until they're all thumbnails. And one thing you will notice very quickly, on camera one, we filmed it twice. We filmed it first hour, and then we filmed it last hour. What you will want to do is, I don't care which version you get, but make sure you get the same two actors. Go to Media Encoder, and then I go to Preferences. I want to start the queue automatically. I want to play the chime, and here's the big one. I want to specify the output file location. But wait a minute, do I have the video folder on my desktop? I don't. I have to create it. So right click on the desktop, new folder, right click in the name of it, and then rename it. I'm going to hit delete, and then I'm going to call it video. Ha! Ah, it's not working. Let's try it again. Let's try double clicking in the name. There we go. Then I'll delete the stuff, V-I-D-E-O, V-I-D-E-O, and then what do I do? I capitalize it. Click off. The name is set. Now, right click, sort by name. Everything is pretty, and it's by file type. Here you have the camera, here's the app we're using, and then here's the file folder. So to specify my output file destination, I go to Browse. We go to desktop, what's the name of the folder? Video. Then I click choose. Now notice, it's going to send all of my files where? To the user named Hepler, which is me, and it goes to the desktop and it goes to the video folder right here. So it tells you then who's it going to go to, what's the name of the user, the desktop, and then video. So start queue, check it. Play the time, check it. Specify the location, check it. Then send it to the folder. If you haven't made the folder, create the folder and then go back in. Click on OK. Now, let me show you the trick that they taught me to make sure that all of your stuff goes to the right place. Just drag the first file by itself. This is zero, right? Notice it's not what we need. Click on this down arrow. We need high quality 1080p and then I want it to go to the folder on my desktop, right? Click on this arrow. It will take a few minutes to scan this in, but what we are doing right now is we are training the computer every single time you scan something in, change it to this file format, and then send it here. It'll take a few seconds. It'll tell you how much time you got, right? Yeah. Now it's done. Now I'm going to start with the second file. And I'm going to shift, click, I'm going to move all the rest. Just grab them. Make sure that you're in queue here, right? Drag it over and drop it. You'll want high quality 1080p in all of these. You'll want your desktop folder in all of these too. 
it's working. It looks like we're ready. Click on your green dot. The time is 9.10. We're making some decent time on this. Let's go. Notice with short little shots, it doesn't take too incredibly long, but I think you can understand why if you do a longer video, you're going to be importing stuff for a while. So make sure you remember which camera did I film on. I started at 9.03. You're about to hear the bell ring to end second hour. So what time is it now? It's 9.15, 9.16. So it took like 13 minutes, right? If I click on video though, I told ya, we should see all of the files. So this is just the import section. Tomorrow, or as long as it takes me to finish the next video, we'll start on how to edit Shut Up and Eat Your Garbage in Premiere Pro. That's all I've got for today. You guys are awesome. I'll see you soon. Buh bye bye Oh, hey, wait. It's not bye bye I lied. There's one more thing I need to show you. How to eject your camera. We have the PM Home and the Untitled. This is the camera that you're working with. So if I right-click on it and then eject it, the icon will go away. There's the bell to start third hour. Hi. And then if I right click on untitled and then eject untitled, then everything goes away. Notice this. The disk couldn't be ejected because Adobe Media Encoder is using it. Quit that application and eject again. So, okay. Every time you quit an application, remember, click in the app. Don't be clicking over here because it's a finder. Click inside of Media Encoder. Never press the red button. That doesn't close it. It just kind of temporarily sends it to like limbo or something. Click on the name of the program. Quit the program by clicking on quit, whatever the name of the thingy is. And then, boom, it goes away. Then I right click on the thing I want to shut, which is the camera. Click on eject. It goes away. And now everything's done. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later. Bye bye. That was a happy noise. Yeah, that's when your mom's about to run the red light. She slams on the brakes. Well, no, my mom doesn't do that. My dad does that. <laughs>